Now for the Outstanding Historical Documentary category, here are the nominees. Requiem for a Legend, Big Idea Company, Palm Sunday Tornadoes, 50 Years Later, WSBT, The Greatest Honor, WTVP. Okay, and the Emmy Award goes to, if I can open this. They are stuck. <laughs> These are horrible. Oh, there we go. Doo -doo -doo. Drum roll. <laughs> the greatest honor, WTFVP. <laughs> Bob Lawson, my best, one of my men on the squad, he was a real gentleman. We were in a basement in a house across the street, and we were fighting across the street. And every once in a while, they would... Uh, you know, bomb me or... We were walking toward this town. They were shooting at us, and he, he got killed right off. Wasn't in battle for an hour, and a shrapnel got him. Huh. <clears throat> Before we play that music, we need to take a time out to remember that next week is Veterans Day. It's November 11th. And there are millions of men who sailed across the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific to fight in a war and see things that many of us will never even be able to dream about, let alone survive. And a year ago or two years ago, John Am was a man who farmed on a farm in Pontiac, Illinois, and had rarely shared his story about what he saw. He liberated four concentration camps, he saw some of the most gruesome combat in Germany, and he told us his story six weeks before he died. I am thankful for John Am. I am thankful for the millions of men who fought in the Great and Noble Crusade, who give us the freedom and the ability to sit here and accept an Emmy Award. And I also thank all of my family and my friends, especially my wife, who helped me through this entire endeavor to create this documentary. And to Mr. and Mrs. Am and to all the Am family, I thank you. And Roger, I'd like you to come up and... Uh... Just want to dedicate this to my father, John, and my mother, Edna, who's 91 and who was here in the audience tonight. Thank you.